I hope everyone I'm back again so uh, I managed to uh, install the latest uh, LG G3 software using Cloudy, uh, Cloudy's ROM uh, for the G2 and uh, I have to say I'm very impressed with it it's certainly given the device a new lease of life uh, it uh, is a lot more stable than I was expecting as well uh, in terms of uh, the actual looks of uh, the G3 ROM, uh, I have to say I'm uh, very impressed with what they've done with it uh, because a common point of criticism for the G2 was that uh, the uh, software was a bit ugly uh, but uh, as you can see there has been uh, uh, definitely uh, positive changes in regards to the notification area uh, as well as the uh, options area uh, which still has the same kind of tabbed view uh, but uh, it just looks a lot cleaner uh, it's uh, I think it's a combination of the icons with the uh, um, text as well it just looks uh, that bit better but uh, yeah, I'm very uh, happy with uh, how uh, the software looks on the G2. Uh, in regards to the actual changes, uh, if we look at the camera app, we can see that uh, you have to now click uh, like the dot button to get into the settings. And uh, Cloudy's G3 ROM does include XDA, BBEBS, uh, camera fix, which uh, fixes some issues with autofocus and low light performance on the G2. So uh, you'll find that uh, autofocus should be a lot quicker now and more reliable, uh, which is uh, an excellent bonus. Also, uh, you can uh, also shoot in uh, Ultra HD using the video recording or 60 frames per second full HD which is very nice uh, so uh, they've gotten rid of uh, beauty face and things like that you know how I love my beauty face but um, other than that I'm very happy with what they've done with the camera and uh, it's ironed out any niggles I would have had with the camera performance. Uh, when you want to go back into the home, you have to press the back button. Um, I've noticed that uh, the multi window mode is quite good as well. Uh, you have to, you can set a, a button there uh, on the no, on the um, keys, navigation keys, so that you can go into uh, the uh, multi-window mode, uh, but uh, that makes it a bit cluttered in my opinion, so I just tend to go into it from the multitasking button. And uh, basically it means that you can uh, do two different things at the same time, uh, kind of like uh, oh, kind of like um, the S5 and the uh, Note Galaxy Note series of phones. So uh, yeah, there you go. I'm not connected to the internet at the moment so I don't get any notifications coming through but basically you get the gist of it it works well and uh, certainly enhances the multitasking capability of the device 
uh, it does uh, also come with uh, some of the other things that came with the LG G2 software such as the remote uh, Q slide as well is still there but unfortunately there's no uh, like additions to what you can Q slide in in regards to like putting YouTube as a small window or something like that a bit of a shame uh, but uh, I've also noticed they put this screen on the front of the device, which I'm not sure how to get rid of it. It's a bit uh, obtrusive. Uh, I think uh, if you click on that, you can probably go into some sort of health app, but it's not something I'd be really concerned with. Uh, so, also on the home screen, you can say OK Google OK Google and when you connect to Wi-Fi it should then be able to uh, do a search straight from the home screen as opposed to having to go into Google search which is very nice uh, the calendar app looks uh, a lot neater as well than it used to be clock app as well so uh, quite a bit need to there music app that's changed quite a bit as well uh, so uh, if you go to uh, settings and audio effects you can change the pitch now and the speed Kind of like on the Galaxy devices, which is nice. So very nice uh, additions there to customise your music that a little bit more. I noticed some other things have come onto the device like Quick Memo. I think that was on the LG G2 as well, the actual uh, stock software there, but looks more neater. Uh, I think the other one looked a bit ugly. Uh, so uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, the dialer as well is a bit different. Uh, looks uh, a bit cleaner, a bit less gimmicky. Uh, so, uh, you get a whole load of uh, wallpapers as well. Uh, new ones, uh, which uh, are okay. Uh, not that much of a fan of them, but they do make your device look like a G3 I guess which is nice I do like the new icons though I think that they're a lot cleaner uh, and uh, also some of the animations are uh, kind of uh, much uh, nicer uh, if I can find settings Got it on soda at the moment, but you can choose a whole load of new ones to your heart's content. So if we try mosaic for example. Nice uh, little effect there. So uh, you can uh, obviously have a play with them. Uh, but uh, I've noticed the auto brightness is uh, much more aggressive as well. Seems to get really down low when, uh, like, you're in a dark room, so uh, you don't strain your eyes. 
also comes with uh, the knock. Uh, if we go back, it comes with the uh, double knock or knock code, should I say? Uh, so you can set like uh, a code, and then uh, use that to then weight the device, which is nice. So uh, yeah, you know, very happy with this ROM that uh, Cloudy has put out for the G2. It will certainly extend the life of it. Uh, if you, especially if you don't particularly like the LG G2 software, if it's your only niggle with the device, I'd recommend that you get this for the camera improvements uh, as well as the aesthetic Im improvements alone. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. So uh, if I find anything else out, uh, I'll let you know. Um, so far it seems quite stable, not found too many issues. There was one issue with tethering, I couldn't tether for some reason, but uh, there is a, a way to resolve that if you look at the XDA thread uh, for Cloudy G3 ROM. So uh, no issues as of present and uh, I'm really enjoying my LG G2.5. So uh, yeah, uh, hope you liked the video, if you did please like it or subscribe and I'll see you next time, cheers.